Good morning. It's uh, 5 a.m. Well, I've been up for a while now. It's kind of jet lag, but um, I found because of this that this is the best time of day. It's absolutely beautiful. It's 65, 66 degrees outside. In another couple of hours, it will be 80 degrees and it will rise to over 100. Uh, so this is a blessed time. So I'm using it for something useful. So let me introduce this uh, little video. Every time I go back to Thailand, there's a whole litany of things that have gone wrong. And this time it was very bad because I've been away for a year and a number of things have gone wrong. But one of the most surprising was the stereo system that I put in our car. Uh, it was a really good quality one or so I thought but it had gone wrong so here's how we proceeded the happiness of being back of course being tempered with the uh, the check over of what has gone wrong in the last year because it's been a year since I've been here so I'll get here and this isn't working and that isn't working and it all needs fixing and it's mind-blowing anyway hope you enjoyed it so this is ugly usual position hello ugly how are you god you're so ugly good morning good morning don't look so happy here's our car sound system in here it's a very complicated sound sound system it's not working every time I come back there's just a huge list of things that don't work anymore that have to be worked through you know so that's one of the things that needs to be sorted out so to get from Phuket to Noi's hometown in northeast Thailand it's 1500 kilometers it takes a long time it's a 24-hour drive and if you haven't got a stereo if you haven't got any audio at all, it's a bloody boring existence. So we realised that we had to do something about it. And before we left for the return journey, we put it into a shop that was recommended. And it turned out it was a very good move. So we've just taken the car in to uh, have the stereo fixed. Hopefully that will get um, fixed over the next few days before we go back otherwise it's going to be a very long quiet drive and uh, we've been to the market and bought a few bits of food and some stuff to clean the house with and now we're going back home again so uh, talk to you later okay so uh, back in the uh, back in the stereo shop having more work done to this beast one of my tweeters have blown out you probably to the guy in Phuket installing cheap ass tweeters already I had to I had to rip out some equipment that he installed a digital sound processor because it was doing absolutely nothing and then it failed and killed the whole audio system so we've got that fixed now and we got we got this baby installed, which is a very good uh, DSP graphic equaliser. It gives me gives me control of uh, my subwoofers um, individually, so now I can tweak stuff as it's going on. But this is the uh, I've got to frame it properly around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, this is. Um, where the uh, the failed tweeter was, so that's got to be replaced, and we've got to sound the same. I've got to do one over there too. So you know, I'll be uh, I'll be stuck here for an hour or so. Noi goes and gets her hair done, um, but I don't worry too much because I got all day of doing nothing, and there is a beer shop next door. So wish me luck. Well, soon, maybe two days, we'll be back in Patong Beach. 
from this lifeless, godless place. Paton Beach, where the tuk-tuks like this are for real and carry people and actually work. This one is just um, like a test bed, I think, for sound system. So, if you look, it's, it's seen better days. Inside, it's decidedly dodgy. You know, the, uh, the floor's rusted out. I would not like to stand on that floor because a fat bastard like me would go right through it. Uh, but you can see, you know, it's interesting. You can see the engine in there. And, uh, well, there isn't much else really, is there? But uh, if you come around the back, oh, this is all very wing wah here. And if you come around the back, you'll see the visions of now this is what I call a sound system now those two fuckers there are 15 inch loudspeakers and they'll be the amps one to drive each of them and well what these are God alone knows there's a, a little digital sound processor there which probably helps tune it all I don't know if this is work in progress or or what? I don't know. There's me there. Hello, 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 hello. It's amazing what you see when you're out looking for other things, isn't it? Or waiting for your car to get fixed. Amazing. I just told the lady here that I'm nosy. It doesn't really, um, doesn't really translate into Thai, but I said, uh, on by Jamok Yai, which means I have a big nose, uh, and all the time I'm saying Tamarai, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Every time I see them looking in another car and not mine, I go in and say Tamarai Cup, Tamarai Cup, what are you doing? And um, yeah, I'm nosy, that's the way I am, I'm afraid. Poor Sid here, he bears the brunt of it all. Noise brother Sid, he drives us everywhere. He can't even drink because he's driving and he just has to wait. But later, later, Tilang, Tilang, Pom Su Beer, Pom Kun Cup. So anyway, I buy him a beer later. So there you have it. It uh, turned out to be quite a, a long process and, and very revealing as well because it turned out that the guy down in Phuket that we'd entrusted this stereo installation to had made a, a real pig's ear of it. Apart from the loudspeakers and the amplifiers, which were fine, he'd put in this digital signal processor that basically didn't have any knobs on and it just had a master volume control. But any control of it and its setups were done via a mini USB socket on the front and you needed a computer so he'd obviously done something loaded something into it but this was all completely unknown to me uh, eventually it failed and killed the whole system so the guy in um, Kalasin uh, he replaced it with a proper uh, DSP with loads of uh, knobs on so I had a graphic equalizer and some way of controlling my subwoofers you know both volume and um, crossover frequency so I had all of that and the results were spectacular it turned out also that the guy down south he'd installed tweeters now whether they were cheap ones on it I don't know but he hadn't put any uh, blocking capacitors on them to stop uh, low frequencies getting in and one of them had blown up so both of those had to be replaced to keep the sound balance right and he put in uh, inline capacitors as well just in case the crossovers were letting in uh, low frequencies which will blow tweeters up uh, the result was very good and I somehow have avoided taking any video of it so you'll just have to 
take my word for it. But anyway, I won't say all's well that ends well because when I go back, it'll probably be broken again. Who knows? But anyway, I was very pleased with the result. So cheerio.